Okay, so for painting these today, I am using the Angelus Leather Paints. Um, the color I'm using is a pearlescent red. You can buy these on Amazon. So I'm using a fine tip paintbrush that I got off Amazon. You can buy them also at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Um, the most important thing is to make sure it's real nice fine tip so that you can get into the little detailed spots. But if for some reason you do ac accidentally paint over a spot you don't want to, it's okay. You can wait till the paint dries and then go back and paint over it. You may need one or you may need more than one coat and that's okay, but you don't don't get stressed if for some reason you accidentally paint over a spot you don't want because I I do that all the time <laughs> and all you have to do is wait till it dries and then go over with the color that you actually want. Okay, so now I'm using the Angelus pearlescent silver. And again, I just bought a pack of the pearlescent Angelus leather paints on Amazon. It's a, a good deal that they have, and you can even go to their, their website as well and purchase on there. For those wanting to shop directly on their website, it is angelusdirect.com. So I use the green pearlescent for the one that I'm painting now. And then um, I'm also now using, again, the pearlescent silver. And again, it's all the Angelus paints that I'm using with the fine tip brush. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little shadowing. So what I did is I took a little bit of a brown Angelus paint and mixed it with green, the pearlescent green. Now, you don't need too much brown. Um, it little goes a long way. And I just want to get a little bit of the mixed color, darker color on the sides. This will give it a little bit more of a 3D effect and help it to pop. Okay, so now I wanna add a little bit, um, a little bit lighter in the middle. So I'm taking the pearlescent silver and mixing it with the pearlescent green. And I'm going to put that right in the middle to kind of help that center part stand out a little bit more. Okay, so here I took a little bit of the brown and I'm going in on the top to just give it a little bit of depth right at the top there. All right, so moving on to the red, I'm going to do the same thing with the red and mix it with a little bit of a brown and do the edges. Um, I'll skip through this but you can tell I'm doing the edges again to make sure they are nice and um, dark. Not too dark but you want it to be darker than the center. And once again, I'm taking the pearlescent white or silver and mixing it with a little bit of the red and going in the center to kind of make that center part stick out more. And here is the finished product.